When eating ice kacang, most people look out for what is said to be the best thing about the dessert, which is the atapji. That is actually the seed from the nipa palm, a native plant in Singapore. But this mangrove palm is now considered a vulnerable species. Does that mean there might not be atapji one day? Well, we will still get to enjoy the atapji and see other endangered flora around if we conserve one thing, their seeds. Hi, my name is Wee Fong. I collect seeds for work and not for fun. And the seeds are stored right here in the seed bank. So this is the Singapore Botanic Gardens seed bank. Singapore's first and only seed bank. We can store up to about 25,000 species of plants with each uh, species having three collections and each collection having about 10,000 seeds. So that adds up to about 750 million seeds that we can store here. We have seeds of uh, many shapes, colours and sizes ranging from the smallest like those of the orchids to the largest seed in the world which is the double coconut that can weigh up to about 10 kg and 30 cm wide. When people realise that I work in parks, they will ask like, do you plant trees every day? Uh, I don't... No, well, not exactly. I don't plant trees every day. Actually, NPARCs oversees quite a bit of things over in Singapore, ranging from uh, the management of green spaces to animal welfare, wildlife management. And one of the things that we look into is actually conservation of our native species, where we actually protect uh, habitats in the form of nature reserves and also species outside of their natural habitat. I think the enjoyable part of my job is that I get to do a wide range of things uh, ranging from uh, going out to the field to different places such as the southern islands to the nature reserves. Uh, the job is never boring. Going to the field actually helps me learn a lot about the plants like what are the environmental conditions that they grow and they are subjected to like the compass tree also known as Compassia malasensis is found in our nature reserve where it grows up to about 40 to 50 meters tall so from the observations that I see in the field, uh, that will help me relate to how this plant will actually grow outside its environment, like uh, what are the conditions that it needs and how much water it needs, how much sunlight uh, it thrives under. Well, after the seeds are collected, they are brought back to the seed bank uh, for processing, for cleaning. So for fruits that come in uh, dried capsules, we can actually use an aspirator where a channel of wind will be blown through a tube and it will separate the seeds away from the shells. For fleshy fruits, we'll have to wash them manually by cleaning away the flesh that surrounds the seed. So after the seeds are cleaned, they are moved to the dry room where we dry the seeds out to about 15% moisture content. They are then sealed in foil packets where they are moved into the cold room and stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Seeds need to be stored at lower temperatures because it can help to lengthen uh, the shelf life of the seeds and you have lesser chances of bacterial growth on the seeds that will cause uh, things like rotting. The seed packets are taken out once in a while uh, at regular intervals such as after a year and again maybe after about 5 years to test whether the seeds are still okay, they are still viable. One of my earliest memories of germinating seeds was one of those primary school uh, homework assignments where we have to actually germinate uh, a green bean. I would get some of these seeds, then I would just put them on a wet tissue paper inside a container and watch them germinate and grow. Some other things that I've also tried were from the fruits that I've eaten, like apples and oranges, but yeah, they never grew. <laughs> Conservation of uh, plant species uh, is important because uh, we want to prevent them from going extinct. We need them for food, uh, timber, or down to even like some medical uses that we can actually derive from some of these uh, plant products. The trees, the flowers and the shrubs that you see around you, they all start from a tiny seed. So next time when you see a seed, don't just look at them as a small, tiny, uh, inanimate object, but think of them as small packets of life. Mm -hmm.